So on my walk this morning, I got thinking about change and trying to help people to implement change into their lives. And it brought me back to something I've 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 heard before about survive and thrive. Um, our brain can help us to survive or it can help us to thrive. Um, survival is the things that are comfortable for us. Um, so just imagine driving down the road, a motorway will say at 100 kilometers an hour, 20 kilometers below the speed limit. You feel safe, you're happy, um, there's no perceived threat to, to you. Um, however, if you're going down the motorway, even if it's clear at say 160 kilometers an hour, um, even if there's nothing around, you still feel quite uneasy because your brain perceives a threat. Um, and your survival mode will kick in, you'll slow down. Whereas thriving is your ability to know why you're doing something, what you want to do, and allowing yourself to physically do it. Um, and I want you to imagine for a second that you want to make change in your life, whether it's nutritional change, whether it's um, adding exercise into your daily routines or whatever it is. Um, you need to understand that that change can be perceived by your brain as a survive or a thrive um if your brain wants to only survive it wants what's comfortable then the chances are that you won't exercise because exercise itself is is a good thing <laughs> there's so many so many benefits from exercise however if going to the gym is going to take over from you going somewhere to see your friends and possibly your social circle getting smaller or friends start getting an eye that you're going to the gym more than you're seeing them then you will more than likely stop going to the gym if you perceive that going to the gym as a, as a threat to your community or your your friends or your social circle or your connection with family however if you go to the gym and you're allowed to thrive um, then you have the support of the people around you um, you have the support of the people in the gym your family friends are obviously encouraging you to go and and your why is strong enough and um, your reason why for going to the gym um, might not be just to lose weight it might be to build your confidence to be a better person um, you know to to boost your own ability to to do things that you're uncomfortable with in your day-to-day -day life um and the effects that exercise can have on everything else in your life is is it can be absolutely amazing i've seen i've seen it um the other thing is and it's a great quote from uh, the shawshank redemption and i hope i get this right for anyone that's uh, that's a shawshank fan <laughs> um but i think it's it's red that says it about andy when he finally gets out of jail he says that um uh, some birds aren't meant to be caged their feathers are just too bright and i guess it comes down to whether you want to survive or thrive andy would have stayed in prison if he was just happy to survive if he was just happy to go through the motions day by day and and just get through the day and survive and um, he would have stayed but andy wanted to thrive and um, so andy decided you know what fuck this um, he started digging and every day it wasn't about survival it was about thriving every day that he burrowed a little bit deeper and dug that hole to his wall and got that poster of whoever that movie star was and put it on the wall then he was giving himself the opportunity to thrive um, because his reason for getting out was the bar in say what to nail um, do you know his why was absolutely fantastic he wasn't just saying I'm going to break out of prison he, he wasn't breaking out of prison to get out he was breaking out of prison to start a new life and every single day he took steps to make sure that he got to Zewataneo and didn't just go through the motions so I want you to ask yourself before you implement any changes or you decide to to take a, a leap okay um ask yourself what's your why why are you doing it do you know do you know why do you want to break out of prison because oh, I want to be free yeah. <sighs> right it's a good reason but there's the safety in your cell there's safety in your meals there's safety in in your social circle however you break out the opportunities are endless but you need to have your why you need to know what's going on you don't want to end up like brooks okay you want to end up like andy um don't be the bird sitting on the cliff edge and thinking fuck that i'm not jumping no way Do you know my friend over here is going to jump he's going to die um i'm safe here in the nest thank you but then you see your friend jump and he can fly but you decide to survive on the ledge in the safety and comfort of your nest instead of taking that leap because you're safe but if you understand that the reason why you jump 
totally outweighs or the benefits of jumping totally outweigh the benefits of staying in that safe safe uh, safe nest do you know you get to fly you get the freedom you can do anything you fucking want and um, go anywhere that you want um then you'll understand that do you know change is a good thing if good things come from it um so yeah be like andy and um, have a really strong reason why you want to break out of jail and you'll find a way